Another thing, just to tap into the history of the game, how wonderful is it for Fergie Jenkins to be out there and seeing his own statue uh, put up there outside Wrigley Field. There, there's the big man, the Canadian uh, all-time great. Between 1967 and 74, here's one for you, Jason. Fergie averaged 304 yes. innings a season, averaged with a 3.07 ERA, and he did that also. You know, he's averaging again. You know how I am with pitcher wins, but when you're winning 20 games every year, you're getting up to 24, 25. It just shows you how durable he was, how dependable. He also played in that park as a pitcher when it was an extreme hitters park. Went to Texas. That was a hitters park that was brutal through the summer. Six 20 plus <laughs> yeah, win seasons. I did. I, I looked this one up today. Fergie got to the Cubs in 1966. Since 1966. He has six 20-win seasons, and all other Cubs pitchers combined have five. <laughs> Here, wow. Here's the whole list of guys who had one. Nobody had two. He had six. And as you said, Brian, he averaged over 300 innings a year in those 20-win seasons. He was a horse. Yeah, I, I think he's somehow, as a Hall of Famer, he's, he's a legendary figure, but he's almost underrated within those all-time greats. But back in the day, look, it was the Gibson, Koufax, Steve Carlton after that, but Fergie Jenkins was upper echelon. Gaylord Perry, Phil Necro, the top top end guys, Gaylord was was spoken about with those top pitchers. Yeah, I had him in 1983. I, I became a, a, a a bat boy for, for that team. My dad was one of the coaches. Wow. And he had an aura. He came back to the club. He had an aura about him that was just really special. It was funny. To, it was interesting to watch like the younger pitchers kind of gravitate towards him. Um, really, really special guy. In fact, um, you know, I was kind of moonlighting because I was a bat boy for the Phillies at the time, and my <laughs> dad was there. And you know, my dad was there in uh, in Chicago as a coach, so I kind of slid over during <laughs> before I went out to school. And and it was just a, a wonderful time. And for me to be able to be around uh, a legend like that, I think this is long overdue. It's a it's a wonderful honor. Um, so so happy for him. I just got a chance to see him recently in a in a golf tournament. I said, hey. I was your bat boy. He said, you were? I mean, he had no idea. So. <laughs> I, didn't make, I didn't make very much of an impression on him. I'm sure you look the same. <laughs> well, I, I yeah. like the practice, though. Like, you know, again, it was long overdue. Tom Seaver got a statue at City Field. And Fergie getting a statue. There's a, a row of statues now. These are for the legendary figures. It helps a new generation who has no idea possibly who these guys are. We do. But um, yeah, to, I, get to remember these guys. I, I, I'm with you. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm really big on this. When you go to a ballpark, you should know who played before this game that you're going to see. Right, right. You should, there should be a connection between what you're watching and what has happened there in the past that led us all to this moment. Fergie Jenkins was such uh, an important figure in the history of the Cubs. Ruben said he had an aura. He still got he it. He still has it. He still has it. He sure it. does. He conducts himself. Uh, he just has a presence about him, and you know when you meet him, this is somebody special. Yeah, I think it was always very important for me as a as an executive uh, that that the players that played in my organization knew a little bit about the history of our organizations, mm -hmm. um, and and I think that that was that was really important because the history means something. It really does, and when you were you put that. Philadelphia Phillies uniform on it, when I was with them, I, I wanted them to understand there were a lot of people that came before them that uh, that, that made their mark and, and make, made this the organization it was. Right. Well, well put. Uh, and Fergie was one of those guys for the Cubs, most certainly. And congratulations to Fergie and the Cubs and the Diamondbacks with seven home runs today. We'll take a short break.